need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can set up other charge items within the item list. An other charge could be used to collect amounts for things such as freight charges or photocopying charges within an invoice. You could also use it to collect membership dues or assess some other type of miscellaneous fees to customers. You create other charge items by first opening the item list. To then create a new item, click the item button in the lower left corner of the list window and then select the new command. In the new item window that appears, you can then select other charge from the type dropdown. Then enter a name for the charge into the item name slash number box. Now if this charge is to be a sub item of another charge, then you can check the sub item of checkbox and then select the main charge item underneath which the current item should be categorized from the adjacent drop down menu. You can then enter a description of the charge to display in invoices and sales receipts into the description field. Then enter the amount or percentage for the other charge item into the amount or percentage field. Note that if you are going to use a percentage, you need to specify the percent symbol, otherwise QuickBooks will interpret it as an amount. Next, use the tax code dropdown to assign the amount as being either taxable or non-taxable. Then assign the amount of the charge to an income account by using the account dropdown. For reimbursable charges, you can check the checkbox for this item is used in assemblies or is a reimbursable charge in order to change the fields that are available. If checked, this changes the fields to resemble the ones used when creating inventory part items. In this case, you enter the information for the purchasing side of the charge into the fields shown within the Purchase Information section. You can then enter the information used for the sales aspect of the charge into the Sales Information group of fields. This then allows you to use the charge in both purchase and sales transactions if necessary. Now once you have created the other charge item, you can click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.